Lights, camera, three, two, one, action. Welcome to MMS News. Now, roll the intro. Go welcome MMS and go welcome to you, Jack. And you're welcome to you, too. And we are here with your favorite. Nine's leading middle school notes program, MMS News. And let's see what character trait we're focusing on this month. Remember, we will be focusing on a different character trait every month, and this month's character trait is respect. Respect means a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something, elected by their abilities, qualities, or achievements. Now go to the MMS News website and fill out the survey to see your name. Scroll across the screen. We, we can't wait to see what kind of respect our students show here at MMS. Need to know what is happening? Want to be a part of MMS? To pay attention to our updater as they break down what is going to be here at MMS this week. Hey guys, welcome to the week ahead. Let's get into it. On Monday, we have homework club, MMS news, and volleyball game versus Johnsburg. On Tuesday, we have a soccer game versus Parkland here at MMS, homework club, math club, comic book club for the seventh graders, builders club, drama guild, and reading club. On Wednesday, we have the boys' basketball tryouts and a volleyball game at Parkland. On Thursday, we have the Trojan Store open for 6th and 7th graders, Homework Club, Pride Club, Drama Guild, set in its second day, boys' basketball tryouts, and the first day of dance tryouts. And lastly, on Friday, we have yep. early release. Yay! <laughs> we have no activity buses, and that's it. That's all for this week. Bye, MMS! Our spotlight is so hot from shining on some of the brightest people here at MMS. So let's see who they found this week. Hello, MMS, and welcome to Interview After a Two Week Break. This week we are interviewing the one and only Mr. Horst. For starters, how long have you been teaching at MMS? Hmm, uh, I believe this is my year number 18, 18 years. What is your favorite grade to teach? Oh, I, I don't <laughs> like any. They're all grades are annoying in their own way, so I really have no favorite. And lastly, what is your opinion on Mike Wazowski? No, this is over. Turn up, turn the camera off. That's it for this week, MMS. Next week, we will be interviewing another important staff member. The top ten has another new list of the best and loudest music to blow your speakers. Hi, MMS. Welcome back to top ten with a few good hits. Let's get on to the music. Our number ten song is Please, Please, Please by Sabrina Carpenter. All I'm asking, baby. Please, 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 don't prove I'm right. Please. Our number nine song is Coming Baby by Carly Rae Jepsen. Are we still friends by Tyler, the creator? Are we still friends? Can we be friends? Our number seven song is Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Our number six song is Can I Still Do It With a Broken Heart by Taylor Swift. Do it with a broken heart. I can hold my breath. Halfway through the list, our number five song is Saturn by SZA.
wishing you got speed glory there will be mountains you won't move and our last song is million dollar baby by tommy richmond Our very own geek of all the games has all the legendary reviews of a game you need to be playing right now. Alright, last one, the top going game. This week I'm talking about Metaphor v. Fantismo. In this game, you must break a per curse, pull on the prince to make the kingdom think he's dead. This game comes out on October 11th on Xbox, PlayStation, Windows, and Steam for $70. That's all for this week's upcoming games. Let's see what sort of records we are breaking this week in our newest world record story. Hey, Lewis! Today we're going to review some world records. Let's get into it. The world record for the largest bowl of mac and cheese was set on July 29, 2022 by Sherbert Inc. with the employee's help. The bowl of mac and cheese weighed a whopping 4,742 pounds. Next, the largest collection of rubber duckies was 5,631 held by Charlotte Lee in the United States on April 10, 2011. She has been collecting them since 1996. Whoa. That's all for today. Bye, Miss. We go now to our next story, who we have been told would like to no longer be referred to as random, but as fun. So please welcome this week's fun facts. How random. Hello, welcome back to MS News. Today, we are going to be telling you more fun facts. Giraffes are the, giraffes are the tallest mammals on Earth. Did you know that glass frogs make their skin transparent by hiding red blood cells in their livers? Well, did you know that newborn ferrets can fit in a teaspoon? Well, that's all for today. Goodbye, MMS. And also, remember to email at I W E I N R E I seven three five at d fifteen dot org. We are starting spooky season. Let's see if our family fun has anything to get us into the spooky season. Hello, MMS. Welcome back to this week's family fun. And I am going to talk about some fun activities you can do at a pumpkin farm. First thing is you can carve pumpkins with your family. Next thing is make a pumpkin pie. Last thing is you can paint a pumpkin. That's all for this week's family fun. Bye, MMS. Which would you rather, have a corn cob for a nose or listen to our next story? Well, we know which one you're picking, so, so here's your story. Welcome to MMS News. Today's would you rather is, would you rather eat broccoli for your rest of your life or carrots for your rest of your life? Carrots because they're more tasty and I have bad memories of broccoli. Broccoli because it's better. I would rather eat broccoli for the rest of my life. Because I think if I ate carrots for the rest of my life, I would turn orange, and orange is not my favorite color. I would rather have broccoli because with ranch is just good. I would probably just eat carrots for the rest of my life because broccoli has like a weird texture at the top. Like, it often just has a weird texture. If I had to choose between carrots and broccoli for the rest of my life, I would choose broccoli. Broccoli. I'm going to go with the broccoli option because I feel there's more things I can do with it. I could fry it. I can bread it, I can put cheese on it, and I actually don't, like, I actually like broccoli, where carrots are kind of gross. Carrots, because they're better than her. <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> the Would You Rather winner is broccoli, because he got seven votes. Carrots lost, because he got four votes. Bye. The best and fails have been reviewed and put together to make sure you have the best Friday possible. So let's see what JFL found for us today. That's me. That, that's me. That's literally us. We're literally JFL. We're literally the best. Hey there, people at MMS and at home. Welcome to another episode of JFL with your favorite set of comedians. This time we're making your belly burst with trucks flipping over. <laughs> the beginning of this week's video list starts with That's a whole lot of grass. Yup. <laughs> Pitfalls. I'd like to see you wiggle wiggle for sure. The second video in the suitcase of fails we have is How does he how does run run faster than a truck? Hey. 
At the bottom, along with a few pennies we may have forgotten in there from our non-existent paycheck, we've got, you gotta put the back back there, man. <laughs> That's all we have in our budget for this week. We'll see you next week with an even smaller budget. Have a great weekend in these videos, guys. And I'm going to stay classy and watch it Please. Your moment of zen. Here I am with all the fall vibes, guys. And I just wanted to ask um, some of the grown-ups, what does fall weather and teenagers, um, what do they have in common? Um, they're unpredictable and you can get the cold shoulder. Now, switching gears, I'm going to go ahead and pop on my pink palm puff hoodie because, you know the fall vibes and just want to let you know that all the good scents are out at the B&B. Um, I like the apple and honey. Now if you teenagers did not appreciate my um, fall inspired joke about you guys being unpredictable, um, don't be a grumpkin. That's my first joke, in case you missed it. And then my second joke is, um, how do you get rid of all of those messages from the ghouls in your inbox? You ghost them. Um, that's all. Stop by M1136. If you need any more fall jokes, I'm here for your cheesy moments. And, oh, one more tip. If you're into wearing fuzzy Uggs, wait until it's below 55 because nobody wants stinky feet. And if you have stinky feet, make sure that you're switching over to the fall sense when you secretly spray yourselves by your lockers. Thanks, guys. Slay preppy baddies. <laughs> OMG.